atmosphere tells the story of life on Earth. The team at NOAA's Global Monitoring Division is working to make sure the present chapter is available and accurate long into the future. We have to create a record that stands the test of time. We have to make these measurements in such a way, 100 years and longer from now, these measurements are fully credible. Peter Tons leads the extensive effort to collect air samples from around the globe. We've got almost 60 sites all over the world globally. And to analyze the various atmospheric gases. Everything is carefully calibrated to ensure reliable tracking. The findings are sometimes startling. For the first time in millions of years, CO2 went over 400 ppm at Mauna Loa. Carbon dioxide is increasing rapidly. If you look at the difference between Mauna Loa, which is in the Northern Hemisphere, and the South Pole, that difference has increased over time. It's now four times larger than it was in the early 1960s. And it's a direct reflection of the fact that the emissions are much stronger. Tons is also looking to the past through AirCore, technology invented at this lab that unlocks the mysteries of air trapped and preserved in bubbles of ice deep within the snow. You can actually measure air that was 90 years ago in the atmosphere, 90 years. For their work to build this record for generations to come, the CoLab's Governor's Award for High Impact Research in Atmospheric Science recognizes Peter Tons and his team. This research is essential in understanding how humans are affecting the atmosphere and ultimately climate change. It's actually possible that we can do something about this.